Hi guys and um, welcome back to my channel. Um, you guys, this is this video is so important to me. This is a topic that is near and dear to my heart. And honest to God, we need help, y'all. We need help. I need you guys to watch until the end. You know, um, I started with the Free Britney movement and um, have went on to the Free Bam movement. And there's some stuff going on that is like un real like you guys it's gonna blow your mind you're not gonna believe that shit like this can even happen and it's true and we need help and i need you guys to listen until the end i'm gonna re react to um the surprise witnesses video about the takali twins um this started with the free band movement she's gonna explain it all to you guys and, and me and redneck are gonna react to this video so here we go. Let's go. Your subscribers. Okay, I see something is up. I see something is wrong. What do I do? And I've said, you know, one thing you could do is file reports. You could file complaints. You could make public records requests. But there is something else that y'all can do. I think it's the only possible way to actually move the needle here, actually get justice for Amanda Rabb, actually perhaps help Dahlia and Dia out of their situations, and actually get to the bottom of the situation through investigations. I love her. Her little intro is so cute. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. How are you doing this fine? Sunday. Who ever knows what day of the week it is. So my most recent video was I'm a little bit of a rundown to, of the Amanda um, That surprise witness doesn't care if I share her content um, because this is all about, you know, spreading awareness. Um, so I'm going to turn the speed down just a little bit because I know you guys probably don't follow her like I do. And um, I just want y'all to, she has a little bit of a Southern accent and I want y'all to be able to follow along. Rab, missing twins, Bam Margera, Lima Yavremovich, transhumanism, virtual reality, story. The videos before that were the two angles of body camera footage that I did receive that did show one of those missing twins in a police interaction in an apartment in Tulsa, Oklahoma in December 2022. So as you all know, I have been working on this story for, let's see, what's it, July? For almost a year and a okay, half. This and girl, one of BJ, the biggest challenges with this story is just- She was a the free britney movement came to a close into a guardianship and florida we call it a guardianship but it's basically a conservatorship guys and you know she was like no way so she yeah there's literally three different stories going on and then Lima is the central spoke of the story. One story is Bam Margera's conservatorship. Another story is the Amanda Rabb story and the fact that Lima did take over Amanda's life and health care in order to give her an experimental treatment. And Amanda Rabb, as you know, did not survive the treatment. She passed away in the treatment center in the ARA To put him into a guardianship kind of like how they did Britney Spears okay and we all know how that ended dollars to tell their stories. Well, Lima decided to have this scholarship program where they picked a patient or who they wanted to become a patient to do this virtual reality rehab type of situation. Okay, let's play for a little bit and then I'll I'll cut back in. 
gave a good explanation for that. The third story in this whole saga has to do with Lima's sisters, who are twins. They're younger than her. They seem to have been actually more talented than her. They seem to have actually been better at getting jobs in Hollywood than her. And that was kind of Lima's first test case, if you will. She tried all these tactics out on her sisters first, and then she went on to Soft White Underbelly with Mark Leta and told everybody, hey, I'm going to help you do what I did for my sisters. Basically, there's three huge components to this story. One of to do with Bam, one has to do with Amanda Rabb, and the other has to do with these missing twins. Now, I've been covering all facets of the story in turn as they okay, come up, and recently, guys. I've okay, so Amanda Rabb was this chick from Skid Row who they um, put in this virtual reality rehab, and she died, okay, under Lima's care. She died under Lima's care. Let that sink in. I finally was able to kind of put together what I consider to be the highlights of the story and sent a letter to report Dahlia, the missing twin, to report her allegations of SBX trafficking. So yesterday I started over on Amanda Rabb's playlist on Soft White Underbelly all over again. I started all the way over. I haven't watched those videos in full in order since probably last year. So I did start them over again. And a lot of the stuff that Amanda was saying was frightening and alarming. When I watched them the first time, I didn't have as much context. I didn't have as much information as I do today. And Amanda, as I mentioned, is unfortunately no longer with us. But Dolly and Dia still seem to be. Bam still seems to be. Lima Yeramovich was at court with Bam last week, like three days ago. And she wasn't with Bam. No, no. She was with his family. Wow. Who were testifying as witnesses against Bam and against his freedom. Yeah. 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 That was the moment for these Americans. She wanted to. Uh, well, how'd you meet her? They just shoved you with her. They, my, uh, well, Nick and his brother Warren um, wound up getting her out of nowhere. I didn't. Meet her. And if you guys want to, you know, know how these, you know, look at the Britney Spears situation where her family made millions of dollars and she employed all these people to basically imprison her and take her rights away. Do you want to add to that? I'm still, yeah. It, there's a lot going on at the same time. It's, that's why it's kind of hard. You have to have somebody dr straight in lanes, and that's what Surprise Witness does, name of this channel. Yeah, that's and Surprise you're helping, Witness. And you're helping straighten the lanes. Well, we're going to bring awareness, and we're going to keep talking about this and keep straightening these lanes until people understand and people help the situation that's going on with the twins. There's a lot of connections. Okay, they put Amanda, Ra Amanda Rabb into this virtual reality rehab and she dies you know and they're peddling this shit um and now like her twin sisters for the last two and a half years have been subjected to this mm -hmm. and here we are yeah. it's scary i didn't know that now, listen, as I always say, if Bam committed a crime, then he should deal with the criminal justice system. Bam cannot commit crimes. Nobody can commit crimes and just get away with it just because they're famous or just because they're mentally ill or whatever. So this all brings me to the point of today's video. I was just sitting there yesterday listening to Amanda talk about some of the same things that Dahlia accused her and Lima's mother of doing to her, including, you know, stalking and stuff like that. Amanda was saying the same stuff was happening to her on Skid Row. Any this is on the Soft White Underbelly's I channel. Issue. I think that he's doing stuff to my food. I think that he's spitting in my food. So that's the issue that we have right now. I don't know what he's doing to my food, but we got to talk about it. Set hash it out. Sure. Tell me about your family. You grew up with both your parents? Yeah, I'm good with my aunt and my uncle. Um, they took me in because I was out with my dad. He turned out to be a molester. So his wife left him. Uh, I, say, I, I mean, this is upsetting. She mm -hmm. was a sex worker on Skid Row, but she was alive. And then smoking. Well, I mean, control. The people that control me get frustrated when I'm comfortable. So they're orthodoxing with technology where they control the people to beat me up. When I watched Amanda's videos the first time, I was listening to her. But yesterday when I was watching those videos, having the newfound information that I do have, it just made it so much clearer that I don't think almost any of what Amanda was saying is probably a delusion. I don't think that at all, but it doesn't matter what I think. As usual, it matters what we the people think. It matters what everyone thinks. I don't know because I wasn't there. I wasn't there and I don't know. Maybe every damn thing Amanda Rob ever said was a delusion, who knows? But another thing happened yesterday as well. Someone alerted me to the fact that there is a documentary apparently in the works about this case. And I found it very interesting because, let me see if I can pull that picture up. 
So it says we're developing a series about the controversial guardian of Bam Margera, Lima Yevremovich, and the free Bam movement, where we'll you provide movement that exclusive interviews from Bam's family, Lima herself, and jackass well, co-stars such as Steve-O. So they're making a documentary about the free Bam movement. This article was posted last month. Well, and nobody bothered to reach out to the founder the and the leader of the free Bam movement. How'd that work? How'd that work? How does that work? How do you make a documentary about something? You, you don't, don't bother to reach out to the person. And before y'all say, well, me and Jane, you didn't bother to reach out to anybody. Yes, yes, I did. When we was I reached out to Adam 22 theorists, like, when he interviewed no, Lima before I started making videos about him. I reached out to Mark later when I first found this stuff out Preach. to try and let him know what I had found in those autopsy results. Namely, Lima lied and said that Amanda Rabb's cause of death was marked as a seizure bed. disorder. It was not marked as a seizure disorder. It was marked as cardiac arrhythmia. And in fact, there was no mention of a seizure disorder anywhere yeah, on that autopsy report. So Lima oh, gets on a video, fine. autopsy results, hyphen Amanda, and says that the and cause of death was marked it's, as it's a seizure wild. disorder on the autopsy result. And that wasn't true. I reached out to Mark Layton. I told him that. He never responded to me. So when I see this over here, we're developing a series, a series, not just one documentary. A se they're developing series, a series. And they're interviewing only people with one perspective, people who only have one side. I'm telling you, I'm here to tell you all right now. These people did not reach out to me about this there, documentary before deciding to develop a series. Up. And then that led me to the obvious conclusion. Think about it. How do you know about Lima? The only way that you could possibly know how she's controversial and she's a controversial guardian of Bam Margera, this the only so possible yep. way to know that is either Lima approached them herself Back. perhaps a checkbook and said, I need you to develop a docu-series or they watched my videos. Now, if they watched my That's videos, my very opinion, very why wouldn't they have ever reached out to me to say, hey, we're making a documentary series about free to us even off the wreck. I don't need to be in anybody's documentary. OK, so I don't need nobody to make a documentary featuring me. That's not what this is about. I can do that myself because I'm the founder and leader of the free band movement. I have all the research from the first moment of the free band movement. I have court documents Bam Margera doesn't have. He asked me to send them to him. You know what I mean? So if you wanted to make a docu-series about movement, wouldn't you to want to yeah. consult the person who started and is currently leading that movement? But here they are talking oh, about they already fire. secured interviews with okay. Lima, the family, no and Steve-O. Who have all come out this and defamed me. So anyway, I kind of was just like up in arms yesterday about the whole thing. It's really aggravated me. This whole fiasco prompted me to really feel like I need to get other people with some damn sense looking at this story. So I have spent several hours all throughout this weekend like, writing this letter everywhere. and sending it to every news outlet I can Thank think you. of and every single YouTube channel and podcast with a publicly available email address. And that is why I'm here today. A lot of y'all have been asking, especially newer subscribers and newer followers of the channel. A lot of y'all have been asking, okay, I see something is up. I see something is wrong. What do I do? And I've said, you know, one thing you could do is file reports. You could file complaints. You could make public records requests. The but there's something else that y'all can do. In the past, yeah. I haven't asked y'all to do this because it really requires distilling and getting the story together in such a short, concise way. And I've just not been able to do that. I've just been limited. I've just not been able to do that. But yesterday I spent a few hours, today I spent a few hours, and I think I got a little bit of a template laid out here. Right. Maybe I'll even like make this available on Google Drive or something. We'll see. But I want to read the letter to y'all that I have sent to all of these different people. And I want y'all, and I'm asking y'all for your help, not only please donate to the legal fund, but in addition I'll to that, that I am asking you to please start bringing this story to your favorite content creators' attention. And I do not care what religion they practice, what color they are, what country they live in, what their political leanings are. Because to me, this is not about me. It is about the truth. It is about the truth. And I am confident. I know that when people with any sense at all put their eyes on this story, they will come to the obvious conclusion. Is and that is something is going on and it needs to be investigated somehow. I know that. So the channels, the networks, all of that, that I've sent stuff to, I sent it to some outlets that I call fake news. Anybody who yeah, you think will be so. interested in this story to share the story. I'm not talking about me. I'm not talking about, oh, make a drama channel video about BJ. No, it don't matter. That's the whole 
whole point okay, I'm talking about here. Okay. This has turned into a me yeah, no. versus everyone, everybody in the family, all the ja no, it's the truth versus lies. It doesn't need to just be me spearheading this. this. Everyone guys. needs this to make videos. Crazy. Everyone needs to make posts. Everyone needs to make public records right requests. Because not only do we have one help. unexplained death that has happened in Lima's care, we also now have allegations of sex trafficking of people that Lima has purported to be in care of. And Bam Margera told me himself he was held against his will for months well, without access down. to a phone, computer, internet, any of it. If y'all missed that, you can go watch the interviews that I do have out with Bam Margera. Right. That's not the point of today's video. I'm gonna read this letter to y'all just to give y'all the gist of like how I worded it and what the high points I thought were. I'm not gonna put any receipts or clips here because within this letter, I do have links. So I'll try to make this available to y'all somehow. Maybe I'll put it in a PDF. So I sent this out, like I said, to probably, I don't know, somewhere between 25 and 50 different platforms, creators. And I'm asking y'all to please assist me in trying to get more eyes on on this story. Any of your favorite people, if you think they would be interested in this and they would like to look into this story from any of the angles, please tag them in my videos, tag me on their posts, make shorts out of my videos, share the short, put my whole entire All videos up on your channel. It's fine. It's not about me. It's not about clout. It's not about clicks and it's not about money. It's about the truth for me. I promise it's about the truth. Oh, I do not God. care about anything else. I mean, I don't want to be homeless because that apparently gets you in a conservatorship. But anyway, okay. without further ado. So the title, the subject line I put was story, missing twins, Bam Margera, trafficking, transhumanism, and virtual reality. And then I'll put like, dear whoever. I send the same letter to everybody. I'm a lawyer and independent journalist with a few YouTube channels. I've been working on a story that is so bizarre and unbelievable that it's changed my perception of reality. It involves Bam Margera, identical twins who vanished, allegations of SEX trafficking, and mind control, virtual reality, transhumanism, cryonics, and at least one unexplained death. Every time I try to distill the story into a too long didn't quality. read, but I could really use some help. So I'll try again here. Last year, I found out Bam Margera from MTV's Jackass was in a conservatorship under a woman named Lima Takali Yevremovich. She is a leader of the California Transhumanist Party. I quickly found out that Lima has multiple aliases and connections to huge YouTube influencers, including Steve O, Adam22, Soft White Underbelly, Dissocia Did, and 16 Leo. She is CEO of reality treatment on vulnerable populations, including All veterans, true, homeless, workers on Skid Row and the mentally ill. Her husband owns an investment fund managing over $150 million. Bam has come to my house in Princeton a few times to film a series of interviews. He told me that he was held in rehab against his will and denied medical treatment. Lima has identical twin sisters who were emerging Hollywood socialites and filmmakers with a successful Very YouTube channel of their April. own before mysteriously vanishing from the internet. One of the sisters has been reported missing several times after running away. Recently, I requested body camera footage of a December 2022 arrest wherein one of the twins accuses their mother of SEX trafficking, stalking, harassment, and bizarre rituals involving stem cell harvesting, technological experiments, and mind control. The twins' allegations, that's Dahlia's allegations, were completely dismissed by the police officers Completely. and she was taken away in handcuffs. I wouldn't I'll believe almost any of this on my channel. If I hadn't been following this story myself and seen the evidence in the public record. I would really appreciate it if you or your team could give this story a look and see what you think. I could really use some backup with getting the word out. Thanks so much for your time. And then I put BJ Corville, JD, Penn Law, L20. So that was the letter that I sent. I'm not saying y'all have to send letters or emails, but even just tagging or alerting people, don't spam people, don't aggravate people. You know what I mean? But just if you think the person would be interested in covering the story, let them know about it. If they're not interested in covering the story, that's fine. I get tips and leads and stuff all the time. I'm really not interested in covering. Sometimes I get them. I'm not interested in covering them. And then six months later, I'm all of a sudden real interested in covering it. So it's not even like, a oh, you better cover it. No, no. If this story does not resonate with you, speak to you, pique your interest, me, you should not cover it. And that's why I haven't reached out to any of my personal connections because I don't want people to feel like so obligated many ways. to talk about the story. I don't want people to feel like I'm calling in a favor, but I really, really would appreciate it if other creators ever wants to take a look into this story, please do. All of my videos are available. You should be able to find everything on my videos. If y'all could help me and assist me in 
pointing people into the right direction. Like, That's what I'm really asking. The legal fund. Peace and love, y'all.